What's happening, YouTube? Um, thought I'd shoot an update. I guess uh, this one kind of be geared towards uh, lesson learned. Um, so, if you guys haven't seen any of my older videos, um, basically I'll, I'll explain what I had in here. Um, before all these zoanthas that you see now and pallies, I had a, a pretty nice assortment of LPS and a little bit of SPS. I was starting to get in the SPS. Um, this was a few months ago, maybe like about half a year ago, um, when I started adding SPS. Everything was doing really good, uh, especially like my LPS. I had some, I had a really awesome purple torch. I had like a neon metallic, metallic -y green torch. Um, I had a Duncan coral that was doing really good. I had, um, what else did I have? I had uh, like a bicolor frog spawn. I had a uh, some favia, some random encrusting stuff. Everything was doing pretty good. Um, then I got my two part, started dosing that. Um, calcium, I was able to get stable. Um, my alkal alkalinity, I was able to get up uh, to the range that I wanted. And um, after I started dosing, things kind of just started taking off. It was, everything was doing really good, especially like my encrusting stuff was just spreading really good. Um, and then stuff started going south fast. Uh, I think it started with my torch, my frog spawn. Um, I lost like all my candy canes. Everything was just starting to go south. Um, some corals were fine, but for the most part, everything was really suffering. Like um, my SPS was bleaching. My um, encrusting stuff was starting to bleach. I think my favia was the last thing that I finally lost. And um, also my alkalinity started dropping and um, so I started dosing more and I just couldn't get it up to the level that it was before. So basically, um, minus that hammer, which is a newer addition, which is actually doing really bad right now, um, everything was just, it was going really bad. So um, I ripped all that out. I threw all my zoanthids in here and um, my zoanthids were doing all right. Um, then they started doing good, and then my zoanthids started doing bad. My pallies unaffected, but my zoanthids started doing bad. And it was really bothering me. I mean, I was losing a lot of corals. And it was really, just really upsetting me, and I couldn't figure out why. So, um, you know, I switched my salt. I thought maybe um, my salt was the culprit. Switched my salt, uh, really no effects. Um, Changed my lighting a little bit at a time. Really no effects either in that. Um, gave that a while. Switched up my flow a little bit. Um, just nothing. Nothing seemed to be reviving uh, my livestock in here as far as my corals go. It was really bothering me. Um, let it go for a little bit. Thought maybe it was just because, you know, I threw everything in here. Um, maybe it bounced back, but, you know, nothing was really going on. And then, um, I think I might have figured it out. I was um, about the time I started dosing. I also had a GFO because I was getting a little bit of algae. Um, GFO did great at first. Seemed to have no effect. Um, I wasn't really putting a lot of GFO, and that's the way I should have went. Um, and then I'm gonna assume that uh, just one day I just didn't measure my GFO. And I just dumped a lot in there. Um, and I think that's when everything started going south. And um, yeah, uh, the last time I changed out my GFO, I pretty much <laughs> filled the canister up. Big mistake. Um, didn't really research the bad of GFO. I only researched uh, the benefits of GFO. So uh, lesson learned, if you're going to use GFO. I'm not against GFO. I think I'll probably run it again in the future. Um, right now I'm not running it and things are slowly starting to look a little bit better. Um, my alkalinity is getting up there again too. Um, but I think if you're going to use GFO, start off with uh, below recommended. If your algae um, or phosphates don't change, you know, you could bump it up a little bit. But um, GFO wish I researched it in the past pisses me off because I probably could have saved a lot of my corals but um I guess GF, GFO has a tendency to bleach out some of your corals lower your alkalinity and 
overall just kill your tank. So um, if you guys are going to do GFO, GFO, make sure you're just doing a little bit. Learn from my mistake. Like um, that colony right there, that thing was full. It's actually coming back a lot more um, since I stopped using GFO. So hopefully that recovers. Um, hopefully that recovers. Um, some of my zoanthids were unaffected. My, pal my pallies were completely unaffected. They didn't care at all about alkalinity, GFO, whatever. That's my newest one, uh, my gold mall. I freaking love that thing. I think that's my favorite coral I've ever had. But um, yeah, like I said, if you're gonna use GFO, make sure you use just a little bit at a time and hopefully everything works great and it works as it's supposed to. Always got eggs from these guys. I really should start hatching them. But yeah guys, that's my little rant. Little update on this, my 75 gallon. Um, I really hope everything starts coming back to life on me because I got some pretty sweet corals in here and I'd love to see them thrive. Later guys.